Well, uh, the first thing will be to go to the TEF platform. So you can type into your browser just TEF or Tony Lumeru, and you'll be taken to the landing page. Click on apply now. And now this being your first time, you need to create an account. So this time I'll just be using uh, my company account. That's a uh, free farmer. Key in your details, uh, first name, second name, and of course other names. That's actually my middle name. Then uh, you'll be prompted to input uh, your password. Uh, this is uh, a unique uh, set of words and numbers which you can remember and it's only you. Now you'll also need to confirm it. Uh, do it quite fast. And uh, once you're done, you can click OK and create your account. It will take some time and eventually you are now you need to go to your email so that you can verify if actually you are indeed a real human being. So I'll just log in to my email. That's a Gmail account. And as you can see, we have a mail from TEF. And uh, obviously it has the link. I'll just click on it. And uh, eventually I can actually now confirm if this is indeed me. And now is, there it is. Uh, my account is confirmed and I can now proceed. So I'll just use the details I applied with. Give it a few minutes, then I'll uh, choose the language I'm um, conversant to it. And for me is uh, English. Uh, but obviously there are different options from Arabic, French to Portuguese and click on it. Then uh, it will take a few minutes and then we can now be able to proceed with uh, our application. Eventually, we get to the landing page and you can be able now to see welcome to TEF Connect. There is my name. Then there is now a poster for 2024 Tony Elumeru Foundation Entrepreneurship Program. Where there are details there that you can be able now to read and understand. Then um, you can also be able to see there is also a notice board, which now, I mean, now since you are connected to the platform, uh, to tell you much more about the program as well, uh, from the commence date to the end date, and you can see Tony Lumero himself. So the first thing you do is to go to the terms and condition. It's always advisable. You spend some good time, get to understand what does this entail, if indeed, uh, it's something for you or it's not for you because most of the times uh, people don't take the time to actually understand what the program is so for me I did take the time and I saw the okay accepted then I also there is also another program overview this to tell you now in deeper detail what is uh, Tony Illumero Foundation uh, the timeline the expectations and actually how this program uh, is going to unfold. Uh, you just scroll down until uh, the end. So take your time and try to understand as well. So uh, you don't get to say, oh, um, I didn't know this was going to take this long or I didn't know uh, these are the things that are needed and I didn't get in. But for me, I understand everything and I'll hit continue. Now, uh, as you can also be able to see on the board, we'll just continue to the next phase. And now here is where we start with the personal information. 
uh, obviously I'll use my prefix Mesa, then uh, K in my name, uh, repeat the same process. But the good thing is uh, usually uh, things I've been using Google for a long time. So most of my details are super uh, same. So I, if I hit the prompt, they usually become easier. You go to the nationality, then I can uh, select my gender. And now this, uh, you need to provide your identification. And this ID, uh, also you need to upload your headshot. And at this moment, I usually say it's good you create a different folder whereby you have this document ready. So by the moment you hit this stage, you just need to, well, go back and uh, re-upload uh, them. Now, what I'll do for me is, uh, since I created, I'll just uh, click on... Um, the icon and continue with uploading the file you can see my ad and as well as my headshot so uh, the next phase will be uh, to confirm the language i am fluent in and that's english as well now for my next of kin i'm going to put in uh, the details of my co-founder that is uh, james this is necessary because in case of anything happens to me or uh, regarding the business, the kick is the, the gentleman next in line who can uh, be called if I'm not available or anything. And I believe he can uh, do the best will for the company. So if you don't have a co-founder, you can put a family member or a friend of yours who you really trust. I'll put him uh, his number right there and um, and then towards uh, the end of this I'll need to confirm my uh, medical condition so if I have any disability or I don't then once I feel like I'll hit the save and continue button which obviously now takes us to the next page. It takes some uh, time. And on this side, I'll need to scroll up. And now as you can be able to see, we have only made progress of 7%. We will need in now to uh, input our, that is uh, contact details for, for the company that's based in uh, Kilifi County. Uh, obviously, county is in Kenya. At this moment for state, I was putting in the coastal region, though later on I changed it just to Kilifi County. Uh, we have the town, the postal address, the postal code. And uh, now I had also to put in my details. That's uh, my Kenyan number uh email address and uh later on i also now needed to input uh my skype id for the education level you choose uh which uh the last level you're in for me i reached a uh, bachelor's level and of course uh the subject area i was in a school of uh, business in economics so i'll just put in uh business uh, and management and once that is done then uh, we hit save and then i'll hit save and continue which takes me now to the next uh, page now this is where you put in all your social media handles now, with first thing, uh, we have LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So, I'll start with LinkedIn. So, uh, I'll go to my browser, and the moment I hit in the LinkedIn, obviously, uh, the links that takes me to my home page is already there. And you can see that's my page, Njuguna Hillary. And by the way, if you are in LinkedIn, we can definitely connect. So, I'll uh, copy the link and i'm going to paste it on the, the box right there then i'll repeat the same process to my facebook i'll just type 
to go to Facebook page and then I'll go to my home page. I still use the same name, Jugona Hillary, and you can now be able to see the link. That's what we're interested on. And I'll paste it back to the, the box. Then um, I'll also use the same for Twitter. Now that's X and I'm trying to go to my account. And then I'll uh, click on X. Then um, I'll log in to my account. It takes some moment. Um, then once that's done, then um, it's just loading up. You can be able to see that's uh, my X account. Then I'll go to my home page. I'm really um, vo and I'll just hit on the link, click on it, copy, and then I'll just paste it there. And then I will just save and continue. For IG, I I don't use IG. So now the fastest you can now be able to see we are at nineteen percent. So we need to start updating the business profile, and uh, that's the name for the company, AfriPharma. Uh, and then uh, we need to input the street address, uh, country, that being Kenya, state Kilifi. Then uh, the details uh, for the towns and postal codes are all pre-saved. So I'll just, uh, the moment I hit my street address, they are all pre-filled. It makes your applications in most of the sites, which tends to be uh, repetitive task to be quite easier and then once I'm done with that I'll go to say and I'll get to answer where we are located now also we need to input the website for the company so I'll just hit uh, the afripharma.com and then it will take me to the home page I'm just confirming uh, the other day we were talking with James to change the domain name, so and I've just confirmed it's it's the what we had talked. So it's afripharma.com, and I'll copy uh, the website uh, link, and I'll come back to uh, TEF and I'll put it there, and save and continue. Now, this is where the real work begins. Now, you need to talk more in deeper about your business information. And the first thing is talking about who you are. And you can well see uh, about something to say. Tell us about me, about you. That's about me. Then leadership skills and experience. Then we have uh, personal achievement. Also, you need to write an elevator pitch. And of course, um, as you scroll down, uh, you'll need uh, as well to write a detailed description uh, of your product or service. And last read, you'll need to, well, what they say, uh, write something that's interesting or what differentiates your product or the service. Now, for me, I use... Uh, these two tools, one is Grammarly, uh, it's very essential, it makes my uh, writing easier and uh, also a bit more powerful than your average writing skill. Uh, so for me, Grammarly is one of the tools that I'm going to be using for this particular application. So I'm just logging in to my account and uh, as you can be able to see, uh, we are getting into the account and just scrolling down, you can see I've uh, used it numerous times. If I'm posting a new post, obviously I use this as just my writing. So I'll open a new uh, folder and we are going to name it uh, TEF uh, 2024 application and I'll be using it as a canvas for the application. 
So the next phase is uh, going to highlight all the talking points that I'm being needed uh, and I'll just uh, copy and paste them to my uh, Grammarly account so that I usually like once I start writing uh, there is a flow so I don't need to write on the TEF platform because I feel I might not be as creative as well so I'll just paste uh, copy uh, and paste it to the uh, grammar account I repeat the same for the others so that I want the moment I start writing this application I'll be moving from one point to another and then later on we are going to see once I'm done with the writing I'll just uh, copy my work and paste it to the TEF platform something also uh, you need to note is uh, there is restriction of how many words you can be able to use some are ranging from 50 words to 200 words but uh, that's being minimum and uh, 200 being maximum while others are going from 50 words to 100 uh, words so it's good to keep in mind that because if you don't uh, hit the minimum word or hit the or be below the maximum word most of the time once you are you want to save and proceed to the next stage it becomes almost impossible for you to advance so i'll also do the same for the personal achievement and for the elevator pitch as well and uh, we are actually now done with the whole repetitive process it's a long journey but you need to be patient if at all you need to see to the next phase because remember there are more than uh, 400 uh, thousand young people who are applying for at least 1000 slots so how best you apply for this stage determines if at all you can be able now to get yourself to the next stage for the TEF uh, program. I'm just trying to uh, underline, uh, underline them. It's just, I uh, usually say the best way to write then goes on you understanding the basics that's the main topic so that's why you see i'm taking a little bit more time i'm not just uh, rushing and uh, it took me a while to come up with this now you can now be able to see this is me um a young entrepreneur uh and my background i've stated there in entrepreneurship and uh, poultry and i've also talked about uh what motivated me to become uh, an entrepreneur and of course uh, why entrepreneurship now this is what is being asked at uh, that particular point so you'll need to be precise as possible and also uh, to use your words uh, well and uh, to ensure at least you are able to communicate uh, about yourself uh, the skills you possess uh, and the things or what motivated you to become an entrepreneur so that's uh, being done I'll uh, just uh, come below here and uh, I'll just copy my work and 
until the last bit uh, and then I'll just come and paste it there so I was required to submit at least minimum of 50 words and maximum of 200 words and I believe I have uh, at least worked with that limit then the next question is on my leadership skills and experience now at this moment I'll need to talk about uh, what type of skills do I possess as an entrepreneur or as a leader? So I go ahead and I talk about um, innovation, things like commitment, things like uh, teamwork, because I believe this is what has actually helped me to build AfriFarma and to even scale to the level we are in. Then the next thing is on personal achievement. Uh, by the way, this is now where you get to talk what have you achieved recently. And this is where I say thank you to all the subscribers. We recently hit a thousand subscribers at YouTube. Uh, this is a platform I started uh, just a couple of months back. Then I also talk about uh, my mentorship journey with Kukuza, uh, something I'm very passionate about. Then the last bit is on elevator pitch. This is where they say in 30 to 50 words, can you wow the Tony Elumeru uh, team? Now this um, is where for me, I used to describe the problem and the solution that I'm bringing on the board. Obviously with AfriFarma Feeds, it's more about addressing uh, the issues and challenges for small scale uh, farmers and um, as you can be able to see then uh, there we have the elevator pitch and um, we also now tend to write about in detail what is afri farmer feeds it's all about because at this moment i'm looking to, uh, i'm actually applying to scale uh, the organization we tend to talk about what we do uh, the kind of uh, processes that are involved from the manufacturing uh, what do we do or what do we use when it comes to manufacturing and why do we do it and how is it uh, making a difference now um at this particular moment i'm juggling in between uh glamoury and tef because now as you saw earlier i used the time to have like a baseline and now i'm now just transferring what i've just written and for the last one whereby you need to wow them you can see the work is there and when i hit save and continue you realize i've made a mistake there are some instances i've used a uh, maximum word so i'll need to fix it and uh, i'll just scroll up i'm able to identify uh, which units need to be worked on and i start working on them the other tool i use is quillbot and quillbot is just like uh, grammary i'm able to i like their interface and i'm able to juggle in between uh, grammary and quillbot when i really have like a writer's uh, block and it really helped me also to come up with uh, really creative ideas when I'm actually writing. So at this moment, um, I'm trying to check uh, the count words and uh, I'm able to rectify that and immediately I go to the next phase. Now in the next phase, you need to talk about the problem you are solving and this is now you have the chance to use at least 50 to 100 words to highlight what exactly is your company or uh, you as an entrepreneur are solving. So for Afri Farmer, we are trying to solve the problem for small scale farmers and uh, whereby they tend to struggle uh, with the issue of animal feeds, which even ourselves we've actually struggled with. I'm able to feel that and within no time then I go to the next uh, phase. Now you can see our progress is on 38%. Then this is where you get to uh, the first question answer, 
which stage are you in in business so and of, of course are you registered so for us uh, we still on uh, startup uh, stage and of course our business is uh, registered now for you you can uh, k in what applies for your enterprise so um also now we'll need now to scroll down and you realize you are now being asked to upload the uh, registration uh, certificate for your company also you need to uh, provide document that showcase the company really exists and for me at this moment the tool that i use most is i love pdf i happen to have company documents but unfortunately they are not in jpeg format so i'll need to change them from pdf to jpeg so uh, I, with i love pdf i i'll just uh, click on the icon uh, and then i'll be able to select the pdf which i need to change them um, and they are being loaded up so it will take some few moments and let's see how this one goes they are able to be loaded and immediately that's the company registration for afri pharma then i'll hit convert a uh, button to jpeg and immediately i love pdf does its magic and i have the jpeg uh, format once it's uh, done i'm able to download the jpeg format then I'll come back to the TEF platform and I'll try now to upload uh, the file for company registration. So, and uh, they are able to be downloaded. Uh, the next one is official evidence of uh, business ownership. So for these, uh, I'm using uh, CR12. We recently had our company, uh, or rather started the application process for our limited. And this is where we have our partner listed there as well with their ownership details. And that can be used to showcase that indeed uh, you own uh, the company. If not, you can use your... I would say revenue or KRA. Now this apply if you are Kenyan, or maybe sometimes you can also use the bank account if you have opened it with your company details or any other document that can showcase you actually the owner of the so-called enterprise. Now then, we also need to upload uh, official evidence of directors. Now this applies if you have more than. Uh, one or two partners and i said we were in luck because just last year we kick-started the process for the company registration so i'll use another uh file uh, I, I don't think it's cr12 i don't know exactly the name but uh if they are there which were provided by the registrar of companies and of course last year we also have also upload official concept by partners to apply so uh, before I did this, I had talked to James and he was okay with the application. And of course he had uh, signed the letter and I uploaded it to the platform and I'll hit save and continue. Now, um, the next stage, we'll be talking about the industry sector, the industry subsector, and of course, the sub sustainable development goals. So for Afri Pharma, we are actually in agricultural sector. So I'll just um, look for it and uh, scroll down until i find the agriculture agribusiness 
and now for Africa, my feeds falls in a manufacturing uh, subsector. So I'll put in the details, and then uh, the, the what we call this Millennial Sustainable Development Goals. Uh, they are different that can actually uh, work with your enterprise from zero hunger uh, to more equitable. But now for us we are going to use um no poverty or we are going to use uh There, there are so many, so I'm trying to look for what that I can actually apply with us. Uh, I feel, uh, well, no poverty might be okay, but not really what we are trying to address here. So I'm trying to look for something for equitable, or something to do with uh, livelihood. Um, I come back to the first one. And I'm trying to see which actually can apply for Afri Pharma case. But I finally found a decent work and economic growth and then I'll just hit uh, continue. Due to uh, sometimes the speed of the internet, if you have a fast one, it's super fast. But if you are net is a bit lagging, then uh, it tends to take some time. Then uh, the next stage is whereby we work on uh, company structure. Then you get to answer a series of questions from is your company registered? Yes or no? Do you have a business partner? Yes or no? Then what is your primary role uh, in uh, business? So obviously Afripharma is registered and uh, as you can be able to see we are still at 50% progress and of course I do have a business partner we have uh, James and another really admirable young lady uh, by the name of uh, Sarah um, then what is your primary role in your business uh, so for me i just choose the ceo it really sounds really cool by the way but i work mostly on just business uh, development side um then her number of employees i'll use what we had as i was uh, last month we had two full-time and one part-time for contractual Sometimes we had at least more than three who usually sometimes just come for one or two days if you are doing harvesting or if you have uh, any, uh, any process, I mean processing of our birds. But this is not like every week, it's only usually on the last month of our harvest. So I'll just put in uh, the details uh, right there. And then I'll just hit uh, save and continue. Then I'll scroll uh, up. And now you see we are now on market potential. You get not to be asked to talk about uh, addressable market. You talk about the revenue model and you also need to talk about the marketing strategy that you use. Now, um, since you saw uh, the first, uh, how I was able to do with the first set of the question, I'll go back to the grammar. 
I'll use uh, time. I'll talk about the Afri Farmer target market. We are based in Kilifi, so this is obviously our market. I'll talk about the number of people who live in my region and the percentage of population which I believe our company is trying to target and obviously lastly the percentage that I feel we can actually acquire. So once I'm done with that, I'll uh, then copy my work and I'll paste in uh, the box right there. By the way, someone should tell me what do you call this box? I'm not really that more of a techie person. So maybe sometimes I might not know what they are. Then I'll talk about the revenue model. I'll, uh, this is where you tend to talk. How do you generate money as a company? Is it through the sales? Is it through the services you offer? Or is there any way more than just sales that you, pro you generate uh, the income? Once I'm done with that, then I'll go talk about the marketing strategy. And uh, this is whereby uh, I'll talk how we are able now to reach to our target market from using uh, just normal brick and mortar approach to uh, marketing. And once I'm done with that, I'll just hit and continue to the next phase. And now this is whereby you're being asked to talk about the, your competitors and uh, you, you need to fill uh, maybe the names, uh, whether in terms of how you regard them. So for us, uh, I feel it's with the agrovet, uh, local farmers market, and as well as like big companies such as with uh, uh, Mombasa, Mombasa Maze uh, Millers. So once I feel that, I'll need to talk about uh, the differentiating factor or what makes Afri Farmer unique. And uh, this is actually what we used to call uh, a competitive edge. So what I feel for us is the fact that we have our machineries, the fact that uh, we also have the personnel for the same, uh, makes us give us that edge. Now the next phase is on business information. And you need to write about your milestone, current and the next one. And I'm going to use uh, Grammarly to help me with that. And uh, I'll be able to paste in uh, what I feel we'll need to achieve. I'll talk about more production. I'll talk about uh, getting into uh, more marketing strategies and a bit of distribution. And also talk about uh, current uh, milestone. That's what we have achieved as a company from launch, uh, the ability to assemble our industry, the ability to have our mentorship program. And once I'm done, I'll just hit save and continue. Then you can now be able to see we are on 75%. The next phase is to talk about the finances, that's business finances. And you need to talk about the invested cash uh, and also mother expenses break-even uh, point and break-even volume. So for us, we have invested about uh, $46.50 and we use around 950 USD. Now for the break-even point, you need either um, help of uh, an accountant to help you calculate that. But since we don't have the cash for that, we are going to use chat GPT to help us with that. So I'll just key in uh, my invested amount in USD and uh, expenses monthly and I'll just hit generate. It's by the way, this is a really cool tool which can really help you. And uh, as you can now be able to see, within no few just seconds, uh, ChatGPT has and helped you to know uh, the break-even revenue you'll need to generate to reach the break-even. For those who are wondering what's break-even, this is whereby uh, the amount invested now equals the amount uh, that you are actually generating. So that's on based on monthly basis. And then uh, I repeat the same process. I'll need to know 
the number of volumes that I'll need to sell. So at this particular moment, I'm only dealing with uh, animal feeds. So I'll need to k in uh, how much we sell uh, per kg and also using the previous data that I've k in an immediate chat GPT is able to help us know uh, the actual volume that we need to actually uh, sell or produce to hit our break-even revenue. It's a really nice tool, you can agree with me. And obviously now uh, you just write it down there in just few words. Uh, you see we need to sell 14,000 kgs at 0 0.4 uh, dollars per kg. And we save and continue. Now in the next phase, uh, you'll need to talk about the business impact that in terms uh, the achievement that you aim to achieve should you get uh, the, uh, the funding. So for us in Afri Pharma, we feel we'll one, we'll have uh, economic empowerment to the local farmers, we'll be able to create a job, uh, we'll also be able to uh, work on waste management because some of the things that we'll be utilizing to make feeds are actually uh, waste material and of course we also talk about the community development remember when i talked about the kukuza program which we kick-started just the other day and uh, once i confirm everything is okay i'll just uh, copy my work and i'll just paste it in um, the impact box right there then uh, the next stage is just to check and see if everything is fine and i'm okay then the next uh, stage is to talk about the challenges and by now you know the biggest challenges uh, we face is uh, limited financial resource we can actually not really access uh, finances at will so i get to talk about that then also there's an issue of uh, supply chain and this is actually caused by the fact we don't have access to finance then it means we cannot actually get uh, our raw materials that we'll need to make uh, the animal feeds then i'll also talk about the technical expertise that actually needed to run the feed mill and you realize uh, we cannot actually hire someone who is more qualified other than me learning because we actually don't have the budget for the same now the next stage is whereby we talk aims and objectives that's uh, where you work. this is where you talk about what you hope to achieve once you get to the Tony Elumeru uh, program and uh, as usual, uh, grammar is at our health. So for me, I feel uh, there'll be, I mean, it's a strategic move. We'll get the financing. We can also get an opportunity to interact with other entrepreneurs. And as well, we can get the mentorship. And obviously, that can really help us to scale Afri Pharma. Now, in terms of the business skill, I feel I really want to know more about the business analytic. And uh, once that's done, I'll hit save and continue. Now, the next stage, I'll need to provide details of any mentor if I have enough uh who may be possible is like a recommendation so for me i have worked with a certain gentleman known as uh, robert kitsau uh, that was from we do platform he was really so helpful so i would recommend him to work with him again so i'll just uh put his details right here that's from his name uh that's robert and then his uh, occupation he is uh, in business development and obviously, uh, later on, I'll talk about, I'll put in the details for where he lives. That's uh, in Mombasa. 
and of course uh, his email and phone number obviously i have more than one mentor so but now for this purpose uh, it's only one mentor who is needed but also a huge shout out to mr etiang he has also been one of the greatest mentors who has uh, given me uh, invaluable advice when it comes to entrepreneurship and business development now the next stage is whereby you get to be asked if you have taken any part into any entrepreneurship program or like the relator and now for this part is actually where i feel i might actually not get into the tef because as you know i have actually taken one part into a business accelerator even though i never got the funding i feel now that might work against me so i'm just saying uh this might determine if i go to the next phase or not and once i'm done i'll just hit submit now the next phase is on uh, personality test and of course the business acumen so uh, the instructions are there you'll need to uh, read them very carefully you got to understand they are testing uh, cognitive business uh, acumen uh, skills and you'll need exactly 40 minutes to do that so also you'll need to be in a good environment free of distraction so and for me i actually did this test in early morning hours but i cannot be able to share the test because i feel that will be uh, against tef and violation of the terms and conditions so i'll just go ahead do the test and come back to you guys now i'm done with the test and i'll just hit uh the continue button submit it was a relatively a very uh well a good test and then last stage is whereby i'll have to uh, do what we call declaration if i'm being asked uh, if i've ever applied for the tf connect program obviously this is my fifth time so yes but have you ever received the funding no i have never received the funding and we'll get to answer this kind of yes or no question you scroll uh, down then you're also being asked if you also know someone uh, or maybe your partner is in the tef uh, alumni of course no uh, or maybe james are you in tf alumni i don't think so then uh, we also have uh, do you have this um, do you have uh, or are you a sanctioned person this uh, uh, if you have like a crim uh, criminal case or maybe criminal record and if yes or no if you if you say yes then you know you're not getting in i'm just saying but uh, on a lighter note no i don't have a criminal record then uh, do you have a business partner or your company uh, dealings with the government i really wish i had one but i don't then uh, are you also uh, do you have someone with a political uh, affiliation or they are they exposed do you have uh, someone as well in government as well and the same case i really wish i knew one but i don't then um have you a business or partner ever been investigated or penalized for any crimes for terrorists of course no that's not a good thing and uh, lastly if you are in any uh, business with any tf staff of course no and uh, this actually being the last one i'll just fill them quick fast and guys that's the end so i'll just hit submit uh button and immediately uh my data is submitted and i'll i'll be told thank you for completing this stage 
and now if i want now to submit the entire uh, application uh, then i can go ahead just a quick check i can just go ahead and i mean it's okay and hit the submit button confirm and uh yeah there it is we get the notification that application has been loads or rather submitted and it's being assessed now uh it's a period of waiting you'll need to wait for at least towards uh mid-march to get the feedback to get to know if actually you have uh, went to the next or proceeded to the next stage so at this moment you can just go to the dashboard so i'll just uh click on the go to the dashboard uh button just to go back and also see uh it's just a, just a confirmation uh, and uh there we go and there uh this is where we started uh you can now be able to see um your application progress is a hundred uh percent and of course uh you're told that uh you are you know it's just a confirmation that your application has been submitted now you'll come back in uh mid-march to the, sa the same platform or you can check your uh, email uh, later on to see how far you went with the program or you are going to advance next so this is it uh it's a uh, it's a long 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 uh application process and of course you need to be diligent to see it through but i believe with this uh tutorial uh it's been an easy one for you and you can now actually go ahead and apply for tef 2024 application